Hi, this is just a basic example of how to use the EEPROM library with multiple EEPROMs. So I've just made up a simple program and declared the device and clock speed, included the uh, library and the, uh, some other libraries that I'll be using, and declared a couple of variables. In this case, just a variable for the for storing a random number in, or not random, but an incrementing number, and a variable for my EEPROM address. So the EEPROM address is actually the location of the EEPROM. Whereas here you can see this EEPROM, the lower one, all three lines are connected to Earth, so its location will be 000. The second EEPROM, pin 1 or A0, is connected to 5 volts. So in this case it will be 100. And of course following through this would be 010 and 110. While I've got the circuit open, just a quick reminder that with the I2C buses you need pull-up resistors of 4.7K connecting both data lines or bus lines to 5 volts. This is a virtual terminal just for debugging and it's just sending out UART data on the transmit pin of the, of the PIC micro so I can see what's happening. Also take into consideration that the oscillator isn't showing, it's just declared by a setting on the pick micro and the power lines aren't connected. Okay, so back to the uh, to the program. Here I've just got a loop, uh, a for statement that increments address from zero to three. So this is the handler for each EEPROM. It'll start off at EEPROM zero and send some data through UART so I can so I can see visually see that it's at what it's doing and then it will go into a loop for 10 cycles where it increment a variable and write the variable into the EEPROM. In this case the location on the EEPROM it will also be the variable number from 0 to 9. After that's finished another for loop will increment variable from 0 to 9 again and in this case it will be reading the variable from the selected or from the required EEPROM Information such as the EEPROM family, which is this last piece of information shown in the examples up here as well, it can be found in the EEPROM starter sheet. But in most cases, or for 24 LCs, it'll be 1010. This will happen four times and for each EEPROM. After it's completed, it'll come down to an infinite loop and we'll just sit there and idle. So I'll go back to the main program in the simulation and start the simulation. This window is an output of the uh, UART data and as you can see it lists which EEPROM it's currently on and then the data being read after it's written to the EEPROM. I could change any of these EEPROMs address and likewise change it in the program and it'll update on, onto this display accordingly. If there's any questions, have a look through, through the tutorial on the uh, site or send me an email. Thanks.